right, so today I wanted to try out a Play-Doh recipe for making Play-Doh at home. The recipe ingredients were already, I've already gone through those and I've started by measuring everything out so this would be a little shorter for you to watch. I'm just gonna show you the mixing part. So in my bowl I have the flour, the one and a half cups of flour, and the first thing you do is mix the dry ingredients. So I have my flour, then I'm going to add my salt, it's a half cup of salt. Looks like some of it's stuck in there. I'm going to mix that a little bit. And then I'm going to add my cream of tartar, which is a strange thing. I don't know what people use for this in cooking, but I know it's in Play-Doh recipes a lot. So those are my dry ingredients, my salt, my flour, and my cream of tartar. Now the next thing is the vegetable oil. The recipe that I was that I looked up and that I'm testing out had vegetable, um, olive oil. I didn't have those, I had peanut oil, and I just wanted to point out that you can use olive oil or vegetable oil, and you should definitely be careful if you have allergies. I know that nut allergies are a big deal, so I just want to point out you do not have to use the peanut oil. It just happened to be what we have at home, and we don't happen to have any allergies. So I'm adding the oil. I'm just using my um, measuring spoon, but I'm going to get something different to stir with. So this is kind of a no-cook recipe, which is nice. I'm not a very good cook. Everyone who knows me knows my husband is the cook. So I have my flour, my salt, my cream of tartar, my vegetable oil, and now it's a cup and a half of water and it said to boil it so this is warm still you can see the steam rising and the instructions say to add a little bit at a time you might not use all of the water you're just trying to get it to the play-doh consistency definitely smells like the flour it is a good smell so I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and I'm gonna use my little spatula here initially because I know that water is still pretty warm. So I've used about three quarters of a cup so far. I'd try a few different recipes and see what one is my favorite and then post them and you can see which one you can watch and see which one you think comes out the best or um, you can try them all too. I definitely think you should make sure that you have permission to use the ingredients first. This is definitely something you want to do with an adult especially since I boiled some water but I know um, you might not be getting to the store to get Play-Doh but some people might be wanting to save things like food as well. So make sure you have permission before you use any flour, salt, things like that. All right, this looks like maybe it's getting to a good Play-Doh consistency here. And I'm going to put my hands in it now. It doesn't feel too hot. Yeah, in fact, I think I put maybe a little bit too much water. It's pretty sticky. Let's see if I can get some more of this dry ingredients in here. All right, it's a good thing I stopped when I did because I feel like this is a pretty good consistency right now. I'm going to get some of this stuff along the edges there. And I'm going to show you. It said a cup and a half, but I still have a half cup left. So all I used was a cup of that warm water, and I think I probably could have held back a little bit. But this Play-Doh, like the next steps for this from the recipe that I found online were to divide it up and add food coloring. And when you start with food coloring, you want to use something to mix it before you get your hands in there or it will stain your hands for a while. So you can divide this up and add some different colors. 
to make colors. I'm going to just keep mine plain for right now. I'm just curious how it's going to turn out. And um, it mine's pretty damp right now. It's not too sticky. You can see it's not sticking to my hands. But it, the direction said that you could store it if you store it in an airtight container, which means like a Tupperware, plasticware container. Um, it would last for up to two weeks before it started to dry out. And it's that water that we added that will dry out. So this was my first Play-Doh test, and I like this. Um, I think maybe I'll try and make something with it and see how it dries. So I'll keep you posted on that and see if it's a good kind of sculpture material for things that we want to air dry. But just to play with it, keep it in a container, uh, add some food coloring. Again, be careful adding food coloring because if you just pour it on there and it's on your hand, it's going to stain your hands. And keep it in a container and you'll have some Play-Doh for about two weeks. Not too bad. Yeah, I think this one was uh, a success.